Welcome to Think Spider. Uh, my name is Norbert. I'm the founder of Think Spider. And in this quick video tutorial, I'd like to show you how easily you can use Think Spider to connect any kind of apps or e-commerce solutions, synchronize data, um, get get products listed on marketplaces. So whatever you prefer, Think Spider is that tool for you uh, to synchronize data. So um, on this screen, you see the dashboard. So uh, first of all, you have an overview about all your clients if you are an agency and you can switch through all your clients' accounts and you see a number of projects that you have for that specific uh, client account. Um, so you can uh, create different kind of projects like synchronizing contact data to CRM from an ERP, synchronizing products to marketplaces, so whatever uh, you prefer. Now uh, you start with creating a new task. So let me just add a first task. And then you can either choose from existing integrations that are already connected to your account, or you can pick one of our uh, integrations that we have uh, in the system and just connect the uh, integration from scratch with a few easy clicks. So in this example, just let me show you how to connect Fresh Desk. So you click on that, give it a name, Fresh Desk Integration, hit the next button, and, and then you need to provide the domain and the API key which you get from Fresh Desk. And that's it. Uh, we are connected when you enter those. So let me proceed with one of the existing uh, integrations that I have in my account. I'm just picking a CSV integration here. So just um, select that. It's a custom CSV and go to the next step. Um, then let me pick the target, which should be in this case uh, Magento 1. Uh, let's go and pick it. And what would we do? We would like to import products from the CSV. Every step that you see and every entity that you see here or in the system can be used in both ways. So you could also go a way around and maybe uh, export products to a marketplace or export orders to a marketplace uh, um, or from a marketplace. You can migrate from Magento 1 to Magento 2. So you can add every single integration and connect it with each other. So let me just pick here products. And then we give it a name. It's uh, import products to Magento uh, and hit the next button. Now we are in a step that also comes for uh, every CSV integration. You can pick a CSV file from your local machine to have a template uh, what should be imported. So. So in this case, I have connected an FTP folder and I am just browsing that FTP folder. I know that the files are in public HTML and in test CSV. And I just pick one of uh, the files here. And this file is imported and uh, you see all the uh, column names that we have in the CSV file. Um, you can do a specific settings. So for instance, you could move, delete, rename, move and rename uh, the file after it was imported. Uh, so you have uh, even an archive. Um, you can either replace records or update records. So for some systems, um, it's not possible to send always just the delta in the CSV file. So we create the delta for you. We compare uh, the two CSV files we have from the day before and the next day, and you just send the updated values. So there are really cool specifics that you can do. We have tutorials for that where we explain each and every step, but just you need to know um, it's it's really, really uh, uh, very much things uh, that you can do with uh, SyncSpider to import uh, export products and data and wherever. You even can create uh, some concatenated fields so you can combine specific fields uh, into one if the target system needs that or you can calculate fields. Um, and, and an example when it's about pricing, you need to add the tax because the target system maybe needs to have um, uh, the prices including tax so you can easily calculate that field. Now just to let me go to the next step, which is the filter. Uh, it's also always available and you can filter from the source. So in this case, the CSV file, all the values that you have here can be filtered. And let's say you want to have the ID, uh, which should be 
uh, equals to a specific value, then uh, you can just import that specific value. Now, let me delete that and go to the next step which is the destination configuration. It's always different depending on the uh, integration. So in this case, it's Magento 1. Um, so you could either re-index the data after the import and we can define to create configurable products dynamically. But these uh, uh, source, uh, 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 source integration and target uh, destination uh, uh, integrations are always different depending on the solution. So this is just an example for two specific ones, namely CSV and Magento. And then we are in the heart of uh, Sync Spider, which is the mapping screen. So all you need to do is uh, we even we even read in real time. We even read the attributes from uh, from the target uh, system and the source system, and um, we even give you the information which attribute is an obligation. So in this case, when it's a red dot, uh, it means that is an obligation field and you need to fill it. Uh, and then you have here the attributes from the source and all you need to do is to map uh, those fields. So in this case, we have a short description, we just map it. Um, this is a fallback value that you can enter if the um, uh, uh, description is empty. So let me add the description, it's here. Um, you can even search. So uh, you need to find the SKU, just type it and we have it here. Um, then we should find the name and I just do the mapping here. And now let me hop to the next step. You show, you see here that uh, I need to still map attributes. So this synchronization task would not work if I don't map. Um, let's say you don't have a specific attribute. No problem. You have a constant value always here and there. So you can just map the constant value. Let's say here for the status, we know that all products that we want to import have um, a status to be enabled in the target system. So I'm mapping the constant value and I can pick from the possible solutions uh, for the target. So let's enable that, hit the next button and uh, then you can activate your task. So you can define um, a, a quick description um, about about um, the task uh, so you can remember what to do. Um, you can trigger when the task uh, should run so you can say schedule hourly for instance so every hour we'll check if there's a new CSV file and import it. For specific solutions you can have an on event scheduler so every time a specific event happens in the system will trigger the task and start to run it. Um, you can enable, which is currently not available because in the mapping screen, we uh, did not map all the required fields. So you currently can't enable it, um, but uh, you can also um, add an email notification for successful task processes and you can add a notification for uh, failures so you can get an email and you know that you need to do something. So, and as soon as I have finished, um, my task is ready here and I see that I mapped a CSV file to Magento um, and um, yeah, I can enable it, I can run it, I can see the logs, I can duplicate it for another case and I can start with just a new task. So uh, I would like, for instance, to, um, to, to get some uh, from Magento 1, I would like to get some customers, for instance, and uh, I would like to synchronize those customers to my customerly account, which is a email and chat uh, system. Uh, so I would like to have all the contacts from my Magento there, and I would like to have them as users because they purchased already. So, and this is, it. These are the steps you need to do step by step. You now configure again. You set a filter um, to grab specific customers, for instance, that signed up for the newsletter. And you are in the mapping screen now to map all the data that you have from Magento to all the data that's available here in Customly. And you have the second task done. And this goes on and on. Uh, with the same with the with, with all the integrations um, and uh, yeah it's a lot of fun to to map this out uh, it's a one-time task you do and after that uh, you save a lot of time and a lot of money um, by automating your tasks in your daily business not only e-commerce also web apps 
um, uh, CRM software, um, uh, ticketing system. So whatever you need uh, can be scheduled and automated. So sign up for a free trial. Um, hop uh, over and hit the chat button and ask us for a quick demo. We are happy doing that for you. Uh, give you a quick demo, discuss your use case. Uh, and yeah, let's see you in the inside. Bye-bye.